Hello, it's Joe, and welcome to another Minecraft survival video. Today I'm going to be building my storage room. As you can see, I did a little bit of work between episodes. I cleared out a little bit of space here and put down some carpet on the floor to start marking out stuff. I came, out, I came up with a design that I think will look good, so I'm going to use it. Right now I'm just clearing out the area a little bit because this is all gonna be part of the room. Um, what I'm building right here is just the main hub and I'm gonna need a lot of materials for this because my chest room is gonna be quite large. If we look over here, I have my little workstation, I have a bunch of quartz, I have a bunch of terracotta, I have a bunch of uh, concrete which I should probably have in my inventory, and I have a bunch of wool. I'm not gonna need that much wool. Oh, I also have a bunch of iron because I'm gonna need a bunch of anvils. In this build. I also went to the ocean monument and collected a bunch of prismarine lantern or sea lanterns because I'm gonna need a lot of those for this. I'm not sure if I, I doubt that I have enough for this. Ugh, digging with haste like precise uh, precision is not good. Ugh, and I'm trapped down here. All right let me get up here. Gonna need a bunch of smooth quartz which I have smelted over here. Uh, smooth quartz stairs. I don't exactly remember the design I did, so I'll be hopping in and out of this world to go check up on what I had done. I also went and got a bunch of, where is it, dark prismarine, because I'm also going to use some dark prismarine, not that much, or, but I'm going to use quite a bit, uh, but I do think I have enough of it. Right, so I'm going to have a little pit here. And in the pit, right, and then this goes like, boom. This goes against the wall. There's gonna be sea lanterns at the bottom, and then white glass on top of those sea lanterns. So I should get some white glass before I dig the hole for the sea lanterns so I don't get trapped down there. Oh, I forgot what block I used on top of the, uh, in between for this block over here. I'll have to go check. I don't think I'm gonna show you the whole build. Oh wait, I have jump boost so I don't need to have, I can jump two blocks high. That's great. So the reason I'm using carpets here is because I want to have like lighting in the floor but I also don't want to have it to be visible by people. So I'm just hiding it under the carpets because the light can go through the carpets. Oh look, over here I have my little enderpearl dispenser which I'm actually going to have to move at some point. But let me show you how it actually works. I don't think I showed you how it works. Right, so I have a sticky piston here that pushes down this observer which also then looks at this observer and they have like a staring contest and they like fire each other off. Which then powers both of these droppers. And how I got it to be, give me perfectly 16 ender pearls is the pulse length of a stone or a wooden button lasts long enough for a single dispenser to fire eight times. If I have my observers like, you know, looking at each other for that long. So it just poops out 16 uh, ender pearls. If we hop up out here actually real quick, you can see the progress that my little alien uh, sprout has ta has made. I'm gonna need these scaffoldings, so I'm just gonna swipe this. I'm also gonna need to remove all of this white concrete over here, right? No, actually I don't. So right, what I'm gonna do, what I'm doing is I'm having like these little archways of light around the entrance. And these are just going to be this deep, and then there's going to be white glass in front of this. I'm not going to put that th right there just yet. It's nice that it happened like this. This was just a coincidence that it happened this way. I had a window through my concrete, which allowed me to view this sea lantern right here. Yeah, like that, which is really, I think it looks good. It breaks up like the solid wall a little bit. So I don't remember how tall I made it, actually. I think I made it three blocks tall to remove all this stuff I built before because I started planning in here and then I was like, wait, no, I should plan it in the creative world. 
and I went and did that. Alright, let's see. Yeah, this is all gonna be cyan terracotta around it. And then up here, I'm gonna just gonna have like a little arch of smooth quartz, so stairs and slabs and full blocks actually. And then up there, I'm gonna have a, like in the top corner, I'm gonna have a little design. So I'll get back when I finish with that. <laughs> did a time lapse, but of, or if I include it, I did a time lapse of the, oh, looks like an Enderman left his block over there, gotta remove that at some point, but yeah, I only did a time lapse of the first section, because the whole thing is, was basically the same thing, so I don't think you would want me to see me do uh, one thing like four times, so this is how it turned out in the end, I think it looks nice. The only issue is I ran out of sea lanterns at the end, so I couldn't really finish this part. I'm gonna need to make a guardian farm at some point. You can see I left my little ender pearl dispenser out here. Let me actually get some. I didn't want to remove it because I have like two double chests of ender pearls, and that would clog my inventory, and I don't have anywhere uh, anywhere else to keep them. So what I'm going to be working on now is the actual chest room itself, and it's going to be quite large. Jeez, what's wrong with me? If we come over here, this is the upper hallway to get into it, and this is just the top section, right? It's going to take a lot of cyan terracotta and a lot of quartz, which I don't have my stone cutter. I should really run and get that. So this is just only the top part of the room, and I'm gonna need a huge amount of cyan terracotta and quartz. Okay, so what I'm doing is something I actually just realized would be good to do, and it's starting to build from like the top down. So I'm doing this because if I dug out the whole area, I would have to build giant towers of scaffolding to get up here and reach the top, and then I don't have that much scaffolding, I don't know where it all went, I just keep losing all my scaffolding, and I don't want to have to deal with like cleaning all of it up. Um, storing is going to be fine because I'm making a storage room, so put it in here. So there's going to be slabs down here, then there's going to be stairs, and those are going to go like all the way across, actually not to here because here is going to be the wall. So this is gonna be the, yeah, this is gonna be the wall, so just, just put something here to mark out, oh, it's the wall. And actually here, or well, yeah, here I'm gonna have something else, like a little light up in the ceiling. I'm not, I'm, I might not have enough quartz for this at all, which would suck. And also the far end of the room is outside of the reach of my beacons, which also sucks. And then also after I finish building this, I'm not going to be able to go through my space. So I'm going to have to think about what I'm, how I'm going to do that. Maybe just leave the center open so I can just run across and do the edges and then dig down and then finish the center, maybe, is what I'm going to do. I don't know. But I'm probably going to hop into another time lapse of me just like big, digging it, building and digging and then building again, like layer by layer. In these little ceiling sections, I wanted to have chandeliers. I forgot to design the chandeliers and add them into my uh, origin, my design. I'm just gonna be lazy and build this now and then do harder work later.
while I was working on my room, I had to run out of concrete. Oh no. And I still need a whole bunch of it. So I have two options. One, I could just sit in my little concrete room I made. I don't know, I don't think I showed it to you before. But I could just sit in there. Or I could use my TNT blast chamber. Yeah. So I built a few things here. I built a little room for me to sit in and place concrete. Then I have piston feeds going into the farm or into the blast chamber. And I'm going to be converting these two shulker boxes of concrete. It's going to be a lot. I'm converting this large amount. I doubt that I need all of it for my room, my storage area. I'm doing such a large amount because I'm get this is going to be my primary building block in the future for like most of my base. Oh, I didn't waterlog those stairs. So yeah, this is going to be my primary building block for everything. So I'm just preparing all this concrete for the future. Alright, and now I just need to turn it on and just sit here and right click. And look at that. Oh, why did it stop? Oh dear. Oh dear. That's a bit of a problem. What happened? I have to figure this out. What's supposed to happen is it's supposed to take the block and shuffle it over and up here. They did make it here. But look at this, I placed so many blocks in such a short amount of time. Look at that. All of these in just that amount of time. And then if they were, if it were to work and get into the blast chamber, it just like boom right away. So many so fast. finished? Well, not really, but as much as I can do. I ran out of sea lanterns. I used all my sea lanterns. I had to swipe quite a few from that room I just built down downstairs. And I still have to put in a bunch of chests, but before that I need to put some sort of lighting in here so that it, the chests are like lit up. I really like how it looks. There's a lot of anvils here. I didn't know how to cap these walls, so I just put end rods because if I just put an anvil here, it would look ugly, right? And there is no uh, corner anvils because this is not what anvils were meant for. I also am going to be needing one, two and a half stacks of anvils. It turns out my iron farm was broken, so I fixed that. I also used up all my, or like nearly my full shoulder box of terracotta. This is all I have left. And I also have to do this hallway. I wasn't sure what to do with it. I'm definitely gonna have this little mini archway in here of cyan terracotta. This is gonna be white concrete, like that. There we go, there. And then I'm not sure, maybe I'll just fill this all with cyan terracotta and see how that looks. I might put a white carpet on the floor as well. So I really like how this is turning out. Like the anvils make a really nice wall. Like it really adds to the aesthetic to, of this room. I've also had to use my whole shoulder box of quartz. Like I mined out my quartz ore and I might not even have enough quartz to finish the room. There's a lot I need to do still. So I'm thinking about having this and then putting the white carpet here and putting like torches underneath the carpet so uh, let me get over here. Actually here, I'm gonna do like a similar thing as I did with the other one, where I have the prismarine lanterns here. Right? I don't know, that might not look well, because I have this like, thing here. I might just do it on the far end. I don't- 
I'm not sure, right? If I just, because I'm thinking about putting also the lanterns here around this. If I do that, I would need something in here to break it up. But I don't know what to do with, what to do about that. I'll have to think about that. Also, while I was building this, I started building it two blocks too high. So I finished my whole ceiling and then I realized, oh wait, it's two blocks too high. So I had to like tear down the whole thing, replace all the blocks that I mined, basically everything that I mined originally, and I had to start all over. It was great. Not really. You might be looking at this and be wondering, Hey Joe, hey Joe, why you build it up all the way up here on this level if you built your little storage hub on the down there? And well, my friend, that is what you are about to find out. done with the room. All I'm missing are a few like lanterns hanging from the ceiling and these two holes are gonna become rooms. I'm also missing a few sea lanterns but I think it looks nice. Oh I left my stone cutter over here. I also ran out of end rods so I used torches in their place and I had to go to second ocean monument and take all the sea lanterns and I still don't have enough sea lanterns to do everything but I really like how it looks. I had to put torches here because it was too dark on top of uh, these so there were mobs spawning up there. When 1.16 comes out and I have chain blocks I'll use chains and hang lanterns off of those chains so that those would be light up from like up top and I'll do that on the top floor too. I'm also going to put chandeliers up in the top of like on the ceiling, I think, because it's a bit dark right now. But I really like it. And also over here, where is he? Ow! I have a little friend. Hello. Oh. He likes like shooting down to the bottom and shooting back up. Pretty pretty nice. Let's see how long he will live. Ah! Let's see how long he'll live. So that'll be it for this episode if guys if you enjoyed leave a like tell me how you liked it and i'll see you in the next video bye